Whoa, it's a cold day. Hey, Kevin Raber here with Photo PXL. We're gonna talk about a really cool tripod. This is the Peak Design Travel Tripod. From the packaging down to the innovation of the tripod as I'm about to show you is totally unique. That just really gets me going because I'd love it when somebody invents something new. This company's made a really good travel tripod. When they deliver it to you, it comes in this case. It's a plastic case. And inside is another case. It's got a handle here so I can carry it really easily. And look at this. It's probably the diameter of a, a water bottle. So you unzip it, and this is the tripod. Look at this. It's totally different. It's not round legs like you've seen elsewhere. Very, very light. There's no ball head, but it is a ball head. Wait till you see this. It's carbon fiber. It extends to about uh, 50 some odd inches. It's got a really clever little thing hidden here. Two Allen wrenches. Not that you're gonna need them with this tripod, but if you wanna tighten legs or do something, it's all right there. You don't have to go searching. This is really clever. Wait till you see this. Inside the center column, this is a mobile phone attachment, which just kind of clamps on here. And you now have the ability to put your mobile device onto the tripod also. I just think this is the most clever thing in the world. Let's take a look at some of the other parts of this tripod. It's got a little knob here. We undo the knob and we can raise up our head. Now, you've heard me say this before. I'm not big with center columns, but this comes with a center column. And if you really don't like it, you can take it apart. And we'll go over that in a few minutes. So we raise it up about this high. So it's got a ball head and you can kind of position it anywhere you want. Very, very, very clever. You have the camera connect here. You have lock, unlock, and we can just go ahead and take any one of our cameras. And I've got my big uh, Sony here. Let me take the straps off. Once again, peak design straps. And we can take our camera and just click it in there. We'll turn this lock to the locking position and the camera's firmly secure. Let's just see how fast we can deploy this. I'm gonna undo all these first. And that's kind of cool because you can basically do it with one hand and all these fingers, just grab it whole like that. And so everything's ready to pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. And then we just start clipping them. Come on, Raver, you can do better than that. Your tripod is your friend. You need your tripod. Always have your tripod. Kill, don't shoot without your tripod. All right, that was pretty bad, I guess. But anyway, it does deploy pretty fast. Man, it's hard when your hands are cold, especially when you're old like me and have arthritis. Works really nicely. I can undo the collar, go any way I want. By raising the collar up on this little head here, you don't have to go very far. So I go right there, tighten that up. I can do portrait. So this has a nice sturdy feel for it. It can hold probably 16 pounds or so at least. It's got a little leveler on the top here. We can look at that later. But if you want to spread the legs out a little bit further, once again, you take the pressure off of them. You undo the notch. It clicks into the next level position it every way you want. Like if you're on uneven ground, you can raise it up along the way and find the right spots for you. They've thought up a lot of cool stuff here. I can reverse this by pulling this straight up. This can slide out. This can slide up. We can put this back on. And now I have a tripod I can shoot straight down with. Did we get that? Okay, I've never done this part. If you don't want to have the center column, uh, attached and you want to get down really low to the ground, watch this. Oh, uh, you're going to have to do real good editing, my friend. You're going to use the ball head and twist it around. Oh, uh, you're going to have to do real good editing, my friend, until I get a straight shot into this little hole here. God, I feel like I'm doing job here. We can take that off, reposition this, and now I have a low to ground tripod. They probably want to have somebody that can demo it better. So this allows me to get, what, about eight inches off the ground? and do those really cool shots with a wide angle lens or you know you want to get right down there in nature or 
uh, put the camera down and you know do drive-bys and whatnot. So a tripod is very versatile. Yes, you have to do a little bit of work to get to it, but in the end, if you know what you're shooting, uh, just kind of piece it back together and you're set to go. Don't forget to always put these things back and remember where your pieces are. So this little tripod from Peak Design is about $600. Let me tell you one reason why I really like this, and I believe it's a worthwhile tripod to get if you can afford it, is many times I'm beginning to get older, if you haven't noticed, and I like to travel a lot lighter. Sometimes I don't need the full tripod. For example, if I'm going to Antarctica and I have weight limits, I don't want to take a nine pound tripod with me. I'd much rather take a two and a half pound tripod with me. If I'm walking the streets of Rome and I get into a, a location where I just want to have a tripod for one shot, a lightweight tripod like this isn't going to weigh me down for a day of hiking around a city. So this is one of these kind of tripods that it's nice to have with you, easy to get out, very versatile, allows you to do a lot of things with it. Well worth the price in my opinion. Uh, really, really um, works well. Thank you for being part of PXL, where every day we're trying to enhance your vision. Take care. I hope you're gonna be good at editing on this.